In this program, let us discuss about checking if two string values are anagrams in Python. Let's consider these two string values, yearn and near. Both are anagrams because they contain the same characters in the same count. Here, E is appearing once, A is appearing once, R once and N once. Suppose we had A, B, A, C, D. Then consider C, B, A, A, D. Both are anagrams because they contain A twice and B, C, D once. But A, A, B, B and A, 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 B are not anagrams because the first string contains A twice but the second string contains A thrice. So, they are not anagrams. So, based on this discussion, let us solve the program in Python. So, let us accept the two string values. First is equal to input dot strip and second is equal to input dot strip. So, now we are going to iterate over the characters in the string first. So, for ch in first. So, we are going to check if the count is equal. So, we say if first dot count of ch equal to second dot count of ch, right? Then we proceed. Otherwise, we can say if not equal, right? If it is not equal, then we can print no print no as the output because even if one character is not going to be of the same count in both the strings then it is not an anagram then we can break so we can give an else part so when will this else be executed if the above loop completes normally that is the break is not being executed so we will say print yes then it means they are anagrams but in this case, one particular scenario will not work. So, in this example, let the string value of first be A, B, C and second be A, B, C, D. So, now you are going to iterate over the characters in first. You are considering A. It is checking if second also has one A. Yes. Then B. Yeah, second also has one B. C. Second also has one C then it will come and print yes because there is no break at all but these two are not anagrams because the second string is containing one d additionally right so what we must do is before iterating over the characters we must also check if the length of the first string is equal to the second string else you should print no so let us include that check so here we say if len of first not equal to len of second, then print no and then exit. So, now let us execute the program. So, for ABC and ABCD, it should print no. Then for the second example, near and yearn, it should print yes. Then as a third example, engine and energy, it should print no. Then one more example, it is printing yes, because there are 5 A's and 2 B's in both the string values. Thanks for watching.